After Champagne for Caesar, Vincent's next film was the quirky western musical comedy Curtain Call at Cactus Creek. <laughs> The film opens with notorious bank robber Rimrock Thomas, played by Walter Brennan, riding into the town of Cactus Creek to meet up with his gang. They are planning to rob the bank when they're interrupted by the arrival of a traveling entertainment troupe. Upon learning that the troupe is performing that evening, the gang decides to wait to hit the bank at night while the town will all be preoccupied at the big show. What about the bank? She sure was pretty. The bank? This ain't no time for it. The town's buzzing. When's a better time? Tonight. With Lily Martin playing, everybody will be at the show. Headlining the troupe is hammy actor Tracy Holland, played by Vincent Price, sexy starlet Lily Martin, Eve Arden, up-and-coming actress Julie Martin, Gail Storm, and stagehand and aspiring actor Eddie Timmons, played by Donald O'Connor, who desperately wants to become an actor. Tracy won't give him an opportunity, however, instead taking advantage of his enthusiasm, making him do everything from set design and props to stage effects and lighting. That evening, we are shown the entire performance of the troupe, which features both song and dance routines and overacted dramatic performances. Foolish maiden, little does she know I already have a wife and child whom I have deserted without cause. I... The end of the show is interrupted by an explosion from down the street where Rimrock and company have blasted their way into the bank vault. The entire town pours out of the makeshift theater in time to see the bandits getting away and quickly chase after them on horseback. Tracy orders Eddie to pack up their things and meet him and the other actors in the next town. Meanwhile, during the excitement of the chase, Rimrock becomes separated from his men. He sneaks into the back of Eddie's wagon and hitches a ride out of town hidden among the theater props. Rimrock later introduces himself to Eddie under the pseudonym Hard Rock Johnson and informs him he wants to pursue a career in the arts. Eddie suggests that Rimrock take his place as stagehand as he's leaving to pursue his dreams of acting and he also has plans to marry Julie. Eddie begins training Rimrock as his replacement, during the course of which Rimrock begins to take a real liking towards him. Rimrock reunites with his gang in a new town and has then kidnapped one of the actors, so Eddie is forced to take his place on stage, giving him his big break. Rimrock then holds Tracy backstage at gunpoint, so Eddie has to fill in for him, too. The show still goes off smoothly, and Eddie is a big success. Meanwhile, Rimrock's men in a repeat performance from the previous town break into the bank during the show. The sheriff shows up afterwards and arrests Eddie as an accomplice to the bank robbers. But I didn't do anything. You, you, you believe me, don't you, Julie? I believe you, Edward, but the marshal doesn't. He's so mad because Rimrock got away, he won't pay any attention to anybody. Later that evening, Rimrock busts Eddie out of jail and tries to get him to join his gang. Come on, quick! But I can't, I'm in jail! I ain't got time to argue the point! The finale of the film is full of hijinks and craziness as Eddie tries to clear his name and convince Julie that he is innocent. Curtain Call at Cactus Creek was directed by Charles Lamont for Universal Pictures. Price had worked with Lamont one year prior to this film in the not-so-successful Arabian adventure film Baghdad. Leading man Donald O'Connor was a professional dancer in real life and put that experience to good use throughout this film. He was nimble and agile, very much reminiscent of Gene Kelly with whom Price had worked in The Three Musketeers a few years earlier. Interestingly, O'Connor and Kelly would work together in 1952 in the musical classic Singing in the Rain. Later in life, O'Connor would become best known as the host of NBC's Colgate Comedy Hour and later had his own syndicated talk show, The Donald O'Connor Show. Curtain Call at Cactus Creek takes an unfortunate racist turn at the end of the film with the majority of the cast, but thankfully not Price, wrapping up the film with an onstage performance of the song Mammy in blackface makeup. I'd like to say to you, don't be surprised, you're recognized. I'm no detective, but I've just surmised. You're from the place where I long to be. Vincent's years of work in the theater no doubt made this role hit home for him. It's the second film in a row in which Price turns in a high camp performance, and he appears to be thoroughly enjoying himself in the process and steals the scene whenever he is on screen. 
Next up, after Curtain Call, Price will be reunited with actor Errol Flynn in the swashbuckling drama Adventures of Captain Fabian. Hang on, Lily! Uncouth rabble. Alive. It's alive. Ugly, creepy mildew. Spray on Tylex instant mildew stain remover and mildew stain Spanish with no scrubbing. Try Tylex. Get your bath laboratory clean. <laughs> 